40 years after those triumphant first steps on the moon. That's one small step for man. Astronauts Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and Neil Armstrong were honored by a president who was seven years old when Apollo 11 made history. The moment in which mankind finally was untethered from this planet. But the celebration is tempered by disappointment that America in the four decades since has not probed deeper into the unknown. Buzz Aldrin, who was the second man to step on the moon, wants America to be first on Mars. To me, exploration is going to some place you haven't been before. Gene Cernan, the last man to walk on the moon in 1972, says the spirit of Apollo has been lost. And I really believed that we'd be back to the moon by the end of that decade and on our way to Mars by the turn of the century. But the achievements have been less grandiose. The shuttle program, which today featured a little noted spacewalk outside the International Space Station, is set to end next year. While the president has called for a return to the moon by 2020, funding is already being cut. Budget pressures, though, are nothing new. Even President Kennedy bemoaned the expense of racing Russia to the moon. Everything that we do ought to really be tied into getting onto the moon and ahead of the Russians. Otherwise, we shouldn't be spending this kind of money because I'm not that interested in space. For America, the moon landing was the payoff. Aldrin says it should have been the beginning. We lit the engine and we uh, opened the door to the future of exploration. Forty years later, that future seems less clear than it was that July night in 1969. Bob Orr, CBS News, Washington.